When the Spaniards landed in Borinquen, or Puerto Rico as it is known today, the Taino came to believe that these men were godlike figures that fell from the sky. This perception was a result of Taino religion and the physical appearance of the Spaniards mounted on horses with their weapons of iron and cannons. This led to the initial welcome and submissiveness on the part of the Taino towards the conquistadors. The Spaniards, however, viewed the Taino as simplistic, uncultured natives who could easily be converted to Christianity and made to bend to their will. Both of these perceptions would contribute to the eventual maltreatment of the Taino and would allow the Spaniards to have their way on the island. After years of maltreatment, abuse, and suffering by the Taino at the hands of the Spanish, a powerful cacique or chieftain by the name of Aguibana II or Aguibana el Bravo, as he was also known, came to the scene. Aguibana II had just become the most powerful cacique in the entire island following the death of his older brother in 1510. His older brother had managed a semblance of peace with the Spaniards due to the fear of their power. Aguibana II, however, had no fear and he began to have his doubts about the godly status of the conquistadors. And so he hatched a plan. According to the most accepted version of events, Aguibana II ordered the ambush of a conquistador by the name of Diego Salcedo as he was drinking water by a river. Salcedo was drowned and based on the understanding of the Christian teachings, the Taino waited for three days thinking that he would resurrect. After three days, all they saw was Salcedo's body rotting due to the heat. They quickly realized these were no gods. Salcedo's death encouraged the Taino to declare war on the Spaniards in Puerto Rico. This began the Taino Rebellion of 1511. Aguibana el Bravo had already formed a coalition that already included several caciques on the island. The first act of war by this coalition was the execution of Cristóbal de Sotomayor, a high-ranking Spanish officer who was notorious for carrying out unjust orders from the Spanish governor of the island Ponce de Leon. And yes, Ponce de Leon is the guy who would look for the Fountain of Youth in Florida. The Taino did not only execute Sertomayor, but they burned his settlement and its inhabitants. Ponce de Leon responded by leading the Spaniards in a series of offensives against the Taino. These offensives would culminate in the Battle of Yaguecas, where several thousand Tainos confronted some 80 to 100 Spaniards. Before the start of the battle, a Spanish soldier using an acrobus shot and killed a Taino warrior. It was presumed that this warrior was Aguibana II himself because of the golden necklace on him which only a cacique wore. However, this has been disputed. His presence was identified by Juan Gonzalez two years later in another battle between the Spaniards and the Taino. This is the same Juan Gonzalez who was present during Aguibana II and his warriors attack on Sertomayor and his settlement. Although the Spanish were small in numbers, the Taino retreated due to the overwhelming firepower and much better weapons of the smaller force. Others say that the Taino became disoriented and unorganized upon learning or thinking that their leader might have been killed and simply retreated. After the Battle of Yaguecas, the Taino opted for fighting the Spaniards via guerrilla tactics and they were able to prolong the rebellion. They began non-stop attacks through ambushes and sabotage for the next eight years. And in 1513, when Ponce de Leon departed the island to explore Florida, thinking things were under control on the island, the Tainos and native allies from the northeastern Antilles sacked and burned the settlement of Capara, which was the headquarters of the Spanish government on the island at the time. Eventually, however, the Spanish would ultimately prevail. By 1520, the Taino presence of the island had dwindled. There was also a smallpox epidemic that ravaged the island in 1519. Many of the surviving Taino took to the mountains as a refuge. Some say Aguibana II was among them. Today, Aguibana II is admired throughout Puerto Rico for his loyalty and courage. There's a statue in honor of this Taino warrior in Ponce, Puerto Rico. 
There are also schools, streets, etc. named after him. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.